Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the quadrature amplitude modulation. Now, the single side band suppressed carrier modulation is difficult to generate because they require ideal band pass filter with sharp cutoffs, which is practically unrealizable. Quadrature amplitude modulation is the alternative. In quadrature amplitude modulation, we use two carriers which are at quadrature to each other. That is which are at first uh, difference of 90 degree with each, with, to each other. For example, we have the cosine omega ct and then we have the sine omega ct which is quadrature to this first carrier cosine omega ct. So this is the block diagram of the modulation process of the quadrature amplitude modulation and this is the block diagram for the process of the demodulation of the quadrature amplitude modulation. So this M1 of 2 and M2 of 2 are my message signals are the baseband signals. So in quadrature amplitude modulation, two double side signals are transmitting using the carriers of the, of the same frequency but with the phase difference of 90 degrees. You can have a look, this sine omega ct is at phase difference of cosine omega ct. So in this case, two double side signals are transmitted using carriers of the same frequency but the carriers are in phase quadrature. So the resulting QAM is the sum of the two double side band modulated signals. So we can write the expression for the QAM as I'm going to write over here. This QAM is actually equal to the sum of these two double side band modulated signals. That is M1 of T cosine omega CT plus M2 of T sine omega ct. Let me name it as equation 1. So both these modulated signals occupy the same frequency band. And if I want to recover the message signals on the, re on the receiver side, that is let's suppose I want to perform the synchronous demodulation and I am going to use the local oscillators to generate local carriers that are, phase, that are at phase quadrature to each other. So if you can have a look this cosine omega ct and sine omega ct are at phase quadrature to each other. Now let's see what will be the x1 of t because here the quadrature, uh, quadrature amplitude modulated signal is multiplied by 2 cosine omega ct. So x1 of t is going to be equal to we are going to have x1 of t that is the quadrature amplitude modulated signal multiplied by cosine omega ct. And the quadrature amplitude modulated signal is this thing. So I'm going to plug in here. So we are going to get x1 of t is equal to 2 m1 of t cosine omega ct plus m2 of t sine omega ct multiplied by the cosine omega ct. Now if you simplify this and perform some trigonometric properties, you are going to get m1 of t plus m1 of t cosine 2 omega ct plus m1 of t sine 2 omega ct. So this will be my x1 of t signal. And if you can have a look, this x1 of t signal is then passed to the low pass filter. So when it is passed to the low pass filter, this term will be filtered out and this term will be allowed to pass. As a result, on the output we are going to have M1, M1 of t. Similar is the case with this second portion that we provide another carrier which are at phase quadrature to this first uh, locally generated carrier at the receiver side. Then this is multiplied by the signal which is the quadrature, quadrated, quadrature amplitude modulated signal. And the result we are going to get x2 of t and that x2 of t is when multiplied to the low pass filter we are going to get the message signal which is the m2 of t. So let me perform it mathematically. So again this 2 sin omega ct will be multiplied by this thing. So we are going to get x2 of t is equal to 2 into the quadrature amplitude modulated signal multiplied by the sin 2 omega ct sin omega ct sorry this will be sin omega ct and again we are going to plug it the quadrature amplitude modulated signal so this will be equal to x2 of t 2 into 
एम वन ऑफ टी को साइन ओमेगा सी टी प्लस एम टू ऑफ टी साइन ओमेगा सी टी इन टू को साइन ओमेगा सी टी नाउ अगेन यूजिंग दी ट्रिग्नोमेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यू आर गोइंग टू गेट एम टू ऑफ टी माइनस एम टू ऑफ टी को साइन टू ओमेगा सी टी प्लस एम वन ऑफ टी साइन टू ओमेगा सी टी नाउ अगेन दिस इज माई एक्स टू ऑफ टी एंड दिस एक्स टू ऑफ टी इफ यू कैन हैव अ लॉक हैज बीन पास टू अ लॉ पास फिल्टर एंड वेन दिस इज पास टू अ लॉ पास फिल्टर दिस टर्म इज गोइंग टू बी फिल्टर आउट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू बी लेफ्ट विद दिस टर्म सो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट एक्स टू ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू एम टू ऑफ टी सो दैट इज दैट इज हाउ वी कैन रिकवर द बेस्ट बैंड सिग्नल्स ऑन द यूजिंग दिस इन क्रोनस डी मॉडुलेशन ऑन द रिसीवर साइड now there is an important condition that the qam demodulation must be totally synchronous because an error in the phase or the frequency of the carrier at the demodulator in this quadrature amplitude modulation will result in co-channel interference and as a result we are going to have the output of the signal as a result the output is going to be like this so we are going to have an output if that is not if the or demodulation is not synchronous that is there is an error in uh, phase r frequency so in case if we have error in phase r frequency error in phase r frequency the output of this quadrature qm demodulation will be equal to m1 of t cosine theta minus m2 of t sin theta then this will be difficult to recover the original message signal from uh, the uh, uh, quadrature amplitude modulated signal using the synchronous detection so that's why we cannot afford an error in the phase or the frequency of this quadrature amplitude modulation so this qm must be totally synchronous